Now, most Protestant evangelical Christians would tell you that the Apocrypha is complete total nonsense, not to believe it, and most of them don't even bother reading it. And so, they also tell you that, you know, Peter was crucified upside down. They tell you stories about why or how John was exiled to Patmos. They tell you about how all the uh, all the 12 disciples died except for, you know, John that went to Pat Patmos and this kind of thing. And so, they don't realize it, but they believe the Apocrypha without, and they don't even know it. They believe the Apocrypha and they don't even know it. You know, how can I say that? Because that is how they, that is the source of all this information, this extra biblical information that they, you know, most of these Christians or pastors and, you know, Bible school teachers would tell you this information about what, what happened to the apostles and all these extra little tidbits that you don't find in the scripture. Even in the Old Testament, by the way, um, you know, you got some mainstream, uh, famous Christian preachers that would tell you that Genesis chapter 6 talks about uh, the, uh, the angels, the fallen angels, you know, mating with the human race, mating with women. But they also would give you the impression that the Apocrypha is not to be trusted. But that is where they get that information from, okay? So, a lot of Christians, you know, most Christians that are Protestant evangelicals, that are against the Apocrypha, you know, in theory anyway, believe the Apocrypha and they don't even know it because they don't even know the sources of the information that they believe. You know, they hear their pastor talking about it. They hear their Bible school teacher talking about it. They hear this person on TV talking about it. So they believe it because, oh, so-and-so said it. But they don't know that the actual source, the roots of that information, is the Apocrypha. Very interesting thing to know. Thanks for watching.